And students at Oshkosh Elementary School are using technology to help solve the world's problems. Yes, the problems belong to an imaginary world students are creating. Third through fifth grade students at Jacob Shapiro School in Oshkosh are taking on issues ranging from education to public transportation. Fox 11's Chad Doran explains. From the minds of the world's next great problem solvers. I was thinking of growing food inside instead of outside because there's not enough room. Come solutions with the potential for real world application. We have more space in the sky, so why don't you just build up from the ground? Students working on the City X project also encounter and work through problems with their own designs along the way. Alex Skelton is solving world health issues with his health ray. A far-fetched idea for today, but as Skelton says, so was the light bulb. Like it, I've tried stuff like it, but like it never works out. He, Thomas Edison kept trying and trying and trying until he finally got it. Students first come up with an idea for their imaginary problem, then put it on paper. Then they use modeling clay to test their solution, which finally gets printed using a 3D printer to become part of the imaginary city. The students at Shapiro are among those from only eight schools in the world to participate in the program. Teachers say the students are learning creativity and literacy through technology. They were able to still be kids and have fun with it and be creative with it, but yet the problem that that civilization is facing is a global problem that we face, global problems that we face here on Earth. I think it's so powerful and important that we can bring these technologies and bring these messages to kids and show them these are the resources we have in our world. These are the opportunities we have right now. These are the amazing things that you can really do. And to get them excited and energized and empowered to, to really make a difference and, and create these solutions. It was kind of hard like, to finish it, but after like, the third try, like, I was starting to get why it wasn't really working. Helping students create what could be the next light bulb moment. In Oshkosh, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. The three-day program costs $5,000 for the school to participate. School officials say about three-fourths of the cost was covered through donations by local community groups. The school also gets to keep its 3-D printer.